Moving like the speed of sound He can keep on the ground Hey everyone, it's Nikki Lee here, and we're doing another Free to Play Friday. This week we're looking at Arcane Saga Online. It's a recently added free to play game on Steam. In it's interesting in a sense. I thought I would address this because there's I, I like I I really like MMI games. And I have like a really good passion on but there's reasons why I kind of like this and there's reason why I really don't like it. And I don't want this to be a section where I pretty much say all free play games are good because a lot of the time a lot of them aren't. Let's see what that was. Be whoop to do another thing I can't equip. There's something new. Um, let's go on this. Gift for reaching. Okay, it's open. Thank you, receive. I have no idea what this is. This is one of the biggest things about this at the moment. It's such a passive experience. So, you don't really feel part of the world whatsoever. You just pretty much plonked in here and go, Okay, this is your character. And your character doesn't really have any significant influence within this world at all. It's not dynamic. It's just here. Another thing is animations is very, very, very icy. You see what it's like? If I just move around, you're just pretty much moonwalking on the spot, running. It's just there's no real connectivity between you and the actual ground itself. And it's annoying because I've done an MMO instanced game before, which was never winter, and that was really, really, really good. And this is an open world MMO which is done really, really, really badly. Graphically, it's like these models here look really, really, really nice done. Very like texturing down here is done really well. Modeling the actual facing, animations on the eyes and everything. Actual texturing around the eyes and everything looks really, really, really well. Compare that with the actual character if it lets me turn around. Nope. It's like it just looks really like, you, there's one spot over here you can evidently tell how bad texturing is like like here you can tell you can barely tell when it is and it's only a 2D plane only a 2D plane so if you're going to do brickwork like that why don't you actually do a high res version of it you pretty much just scaled up whatever that was from so it could have been like a tiny wall and you just scaled it up and it looks absolutely horrid and it's a really good example of how bad texturing is over here. Where is it? So pretty much what you want to do for texturing is keep all high res textures as close as possible and low res as far, far away as possible because you're not really going to be seeing that. So, but, oh, I've got so many of these things I have no idea what to do. So what we have here is a face in here of just absolutely... Oh, you, you can actually walk inside it, genius. So this is, isn't even... There's no collision on it whatsoever, so you can actually just walk through what I suppose only is a static mesh, but probably isn't. But you, you've got more actual definition on textures up here, incomparable to the ones down here, so it's just the wrong order, the wrong way around, and you can see how evident these actual faces are. So all of these here are faces. You get the lines and so pretty much the whole entity itself is what's called a polygon. Is that right? Polygon is, is the actual entity. That's the thing. Yeah. So it's been a while since I've actually done graphical um, design. So yes, yeah, so the whole thing is a polygon. The actual, these are thing called faces and they're the lines. So pretty much all of these make up a 3D entity and what you do to do the actual materials, you do what's called UV unwrapping and you bake it and put it back on. Or you can literally just slap on a preset material onto this and it will actually just work onto it and it looks so badly done so 
I don't know how they've done it. So it's either they've just chosen that as the texture and didn't choose a scaling model for the UV on that, but it looks so bad. And similar things like here, you can see like there's a sharp line here, here, here. You can see how all the actual stones here go in the wrong way. It, that's pretty much just done through actual conflicting polygons. And it's, if it was all done as a connective UV, I'm not throwing out like really weird terminology here, but if it was done as a connective UV, then it would be a corresponding corridor. But it's just it's like I'm not really good at graphical design, but because I know a little bit about it, this stuff does annoy me. It shouldn't do because I should just purely be enjoying the game. But stuff like it just, it just does like this is this is nice because it's like it's been called vector plating and it, it it creates displacement. So you can depending on variables, you can choose how things break into different materials, and it's really really nice. So that's a nice actual thing there, but just generally, like, it's really, really bad. I don't like this game at all. And I don't like pushing games down. It's... Like, this right here. This character here is... Was it? Five hundred levels of higher than me? And I'm pretty much a spanker all over it. He's doing a little bit of damage to me. And... Overall, I'm winning this. I've messed up a lot of my combos here. And he's pretty much almost dead now. So no. And so you can pretty much solo a lot of these enemies. And level 14. Another thing is you don't really get the equipment that you deserve. What's this? Um okay so let's use that yep yep you... I don't know, there's, there's too much going on in this game honestly, there's too much going on at once skill wise it's not very explain what's going on so you pretty much have things that you can level up and what's not explained is, like, I'll show you here, that says 2 or 3, right click on it, 0 or 6. No one tells you why that happens, because no one actually bothers. So if I say, it pretty much there's 3 tiers towards everything, I'm pretty sure that's right. No, this one's got 5. So there's 3 out of 5. And so you can, next one probably be something else, like 0 out of 7 and 0 out of 9. So it all depends on the thing, like this is 2 out of 3. But I thought I was losing out on skill points because it purely wasn't explained. And if you're going to G, this is this, this whole thing here of your goals. These star things aren't explained. You can connect to Facebook for some odd reason. It just seems so over the top just to get a community together just to make money pretty much and there's a thing on Steam that you can buy there's several DLC but I'm going to run through the most expensive one which is called the Ultimate Zeno Pack I'm from the UK so this costs £26.99 um, pretty much pounds sterling I'm not sure how it will cost elsewhere but it comes with a selection of pretty much boosts so, there's one called the Berserker's Battle EXP Potion, it lasts for 6 hours, and within that 6 hours you get 100% boost in EXP gain for combat for 6 hours, so you'll be leveling up twice as fast. Then there's the Mastermind Quest EXP Potion, it lasts for 6 hours, you get 100% boost in EXP from quests, that lasts for 6 hours. There's the Slash 100 Mastered Order, that is 50% increase in XP gained from the first 100 monsters killed. Then there's Hall's Bloody or Hall's Blood Red Meat, and that recovers 100% of the user's health, and this can used every 30 seconds. I'm not sure if that's an individual use or if it's a continuous use. If that is, that's OP as hell. There is Era's Tear of Magicka Remedy. This recovers 100% of users' magicka or magia K 
can be used once every 30 seconds, same as Hall's Blood Remedy. If that can be used continuous times, that's OP. The Mysterious Advanced Auto Recovery Remedy, that's a mouthful and a half. If the player's health is below 30%, this will bring the player to max health. Recover of a total of 1 million HP. So, I'm not sure how boosting this will work, but if that's the case, level wise it's going to go pretty high. And if that can be used multiple times, that's OP. Skill points. So you get 10% and uh, 10 extra skill points purely for buying this thing. Advanced skill eraser resets all the skill points invested in the selected class. Pardon. And that lasts for six hours. 100% increase in karma points gained from hunting monsters for six hours. So there's three 100% increases in both. Well, there's one karma and two in EXP, one from monsters, one from quests. And there's 50% increase in EXP from the first 100 monsters killed. It's just so much. So if you pretty much save up your slash 100 monster order ones until, say, a boss, and then just get yeah, an extra 50% EXP from that without it. Here's the quest line. There's a quest line. Aim this at one strike. Put it on. What is this? I'm just missing the quest line. Is it level 1? The thing I've got I'm missing. And he's not. Mind you, this is the first time I've actually been in... Oh, this has been actually out of the for me. I might actually die now. I might actually die. No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's just... I really like MMI games. I really do. Stuff like I played Guild Wars 1 for a collective hours of 7,000 over 7 years. Guild Wars 2 I hated because it was nowhere near as good as Guild Wars 1. And this one's even worse than Guild Wars 2. It's just such an alien experience. You don't really feel connected to the world. There's not really much dynamic events. So even stuff that you might think would added towards this little world doesn't really do much, you don't really feel connected whatsoever killing all these enemies here does nothing, they just respawn killing all these enemies here does nothing, they just respawn there's no real fetch quest, there's no real helping out NPCs it's just not what I expected for a game that got actually accepted on Steam I was expecting something pretty good there's n not really much like this. Is, is this a one that's still hit? Nope. No. I'm not here to make friends. I will not be playing this game long enough, unfortunately. Oh crap. So, from the trailers, this game looks really, really good. That's why I played it. That's why I thought, stop giving me coins. Um, I, I thought it would just be a good game for you to play, but this is a game I really, really, really do. Pretty much say do not play. It's a game I normally do not. It's something I don't really say too often, like avoid something, but this game. Yeah, the combat swish. But it's, I'm gonna die here. Okay. B, can you add potions in here? No potions, potions, potions. Remedy, da 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 da. Oh, successful miss, this patient. Okay, okay but you want to help level us. Yeah, I probably will die here. And that's probably the end of this game actually. I, I will not be coming back to this game at all. I really do not like it. No. 
I would not be resurrecting. But yeah, this is what's this game? This is Arcane. This is how much I don't even feel invested in it. This is called Arcane Saga Online. I completely forgot the name of this game, and it's a game I would not recommend anyone play. It, honestly, you could probably play it for a little while. You probably might get into it a little bit more than me, but even though it's free to play, I would not recommend this. It's not engaging. It is. You don't feel part of the world whatsoever, and. For the pay to win model, it's kind of if that is inclusive into if there's a P if it's PvP in this game and that intervenes a bit, then that can really 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 unset things, especially with stuff like the ten added skill points. If you can outplay someone purely by paying stuffing, then that's bad, and I don't like that. But yeah, so this is this episode of Free to Play Friday. Unfortunately, this one's going to end in a bad one. Oh crap! Damn you, you resurrected me! But yeah, it's going to end on a sour note, unfortunately. But it's just me saying to you guys, I'm not going to say everything's going to be good. Fortunately, this came around so I can show you guys that I'm going to be pretty honest and not brutal, but I'm going to be quite clinical with my reviews and stuff. Let's go very quickly. Look at this. Look at this. These ropes here. <laughs> are paint these are part of the actual they're not even part of like a separate mesh or even as included as an extrusion here. They just they're not oh look how these aren't even cylinders, they're just straight <laughs> these are just straight planes. But yeah they're just painted on and it's just laziness. I know for an MMO it's very resource consuming because you've got such an, an open world, it's not a separate world, uh, separate with levels that have to load. And polygons are very, very, very careful, but at least increase the textures. Even textures actually are quite consuming of resources, but like this could have been a straight piece, saving how many resources there. It could even be square, for all you know. There's just so much things they could have saved on. And it, sh it could have been a much better game, but unfortunately, it isn't. It should, and honestly, it shouldn't have got on Steam. There's so many good MMOs on there that it could have done, that should have been on there, and unfortunately, it isn't. And I'm hoping that's something that does change in the near future because I'm a big MMO fan, and seeing this come on above others is very, very annoying in my personal opinion. But that's where we're going to leave you guys. I'll see you next Friday, and I'll see you then. Bye bye.